Oh, babe, you're bleeding. I know. What happened? What? I've just watched the footage and I've made Riley promise to never ever do that again. You seriously could have got your foot bit. I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. I fly. What are we up to today, Captain? Well, I've been wanting to do a shore dive for ages and the wind has gone south, which means it's sort of uh, not perfect, but really good conditions for that. So I'm just grabbing all my spear fishing gear, gonna drive to shore, walk across the other side of the island and uh, see if I can get us some lunch. Are you gonna be good? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think Dad will get a fish? Me and Lenny have just found a shady spot here on the beach. We're gonna sit and watch Riley. He's just going out of sight now, so I get the feeling it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> We're staying at our friend Hannah and Mike's uh, beach shack just over the hill here. It's amazing. So the boat's anchored over the other side of the island and we'll be making the most of land life. It's pretty damn good. Sometimes, but not all the time. He's pretty deep right now. All right, mister. Time to take Lenny back to the shack. It's been close to three hours now. I'm sure he's fine. He's just having a good time out there. He always does this. Whenever he goes spear fishing, it's always like three or four hours he's gone for. So I'm not worried. I'm gonna go sit and watch Netflix with the Len. What do you think about that? Iliana, Iliana, I'm home. Got a whole fish. Nice work. It's good size. Oh, babe, you're bleeding. I know. What happened? Oh my long, gosh, is that, story. is that like coral? Do you need me to antiseptic? it? Antiseptic. it. <laughs> what do you call it? Nah. I'm alright. Put some dead oil on it. We got dead oil. I've got a long story to tell you about that thing. Yeah? It was pretty interesting. Alright, uh, do you want to put that in a pot and then we can get talking? Yep. Is this from Coral? It's all part of the story. I can't... Tell me. I, I want to hear your story. It's a graze. Did you fall standing on the reef? <gasps> Did you have to stand on the reef like running away from something? Giant squid. It's not as deep as I thought. No. It's just a graze. Yeah. You'll be right. Toughen up. What happened? <laughs> Is he making me wait until we record to tell the story? Hurry up. Where to start? The moral of the story is don't go for a shore dive. Why? Sharks. So I went out, I saw a hogfish. And I shot it, I cooked it, I missed it the first time and then went, went down and got it. I did that pretty quickly. Like I had I had a fish in about seven minutes. Really? Yeah, and, and then I, I was like, oh, I, I might as well try and get one on the way home because I walked really fast out so I could come up with the wind. And then I saw a shark, just a little reefy. And then I saw another one and it had a hook in its mouth, oh. like a rusty hook and it was sort of behaving a bit strangely. It was going down and coming up and trying to get the feeder fish, I think, to play with the hook. Mm. So it was like in a bit of distress. Then there was 
two more a little bit later on and they started behaving aggressively. And I all had, while you're holding your fish. Well, I had it, when I was going for another fish, I had it tied to that so I could go down and try and get another one. Oh life. my goodness. The sharks, there was four and then there was even five of them at one stage and they were all, they would not leave me alone. They, they were on my ass for an hour. Really? And whilst I swam all the way home, yeah. Meanwhile, me and Lenny have just been watching Netflix. <laughs> not a clue as to what's going on out there. I was finning like this and they, there was like one there, one there, one there, and then one like darting so into the So they chased side. you back to shore? Yeah, and I poked them. When I got close to shore, it started getting really murky, so I couldn't see much. Oh no. And then one bunted into my leg, and then there was breaking waves. That's when I did that. And then when I stood up and I was like pulling my fins off and, and like going, hell yes, I survived. I looked down and there's two sharks in the shallows, like like this. Like they wanted me so bad. And you're bleeding. And I was bleeding. And most of the time I had the fish in the air because every time I put it down, two more would appear. Like generally there was two. And then whenever I brought the fish down into the ocean, there was two more. So That's had, the last shore dive you're doing. Probably, yeah, because <laughs> with a boat, you're out of the water like that. Yeah, and with you this, move spots. I had to swim so far because I wanted to be able to keep my eye on them. My legs are like that and my back's like that, so I'm finning through the water like really Are you exhausted? Awkwardly. I'm knackered and I swallowed shitloads of salt water. My tongue's Ooh. all swollen and I've got nice. a little hogfish. Please give that video a like. <laughs> what? I can't believe those sharks. That's never happened to me before. That's absolutely mental. It's like four of them just chasing me out of the water. I've just watched the footage and I've made Riley promise to never ever do that again. At the end here, there's one shot where if you put it in slow motion, you can see the shark goes right by his leg when he's walking onto the sand. We're both like, that's its fin. <laughs> yeah, its fin is right next to Riley's leg. You seriously could have got your foot bit. Out deeper, you can see him and it's less of a problem. In the shallows with all white water, they're just gonna come up and have a chomp. I kind of feel sorry for them. They must be pretty hungry to have chased you all the way back to the sand. Never again, mister. That's it. <laughs> you need to have a boat with you. Yeah. And a dive buddy. Got some bags to put the fillets in. And um, Riley's gonna fillet it at the beach just so he doesn't leave a mess on the patio. Seams are out this afternoon. They usually come out in the mornings and the afternoons and I haven't felt them this bad before, but they're everywhere. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the shack if that's okay. And we're getting bit. Ah, gotta go, gotta go. Come on, Lenny. For those of you who don't know what the no sand bugs are, they're tiny microscopic little midges, we call them in Australia, but these ones are even smaller. And they get you so fast. And before you know it, you're like itching in bed all night. Back into the glorious aircon. It's been an absolute treat having the aircon, eh? Hey? Making the most of it. Mm. You wanna go for a shower with Dad? I think you need one. Come on, stinky. Yeah, you're all filthy. Come on, stinker. <laughs> Is that a bit hot? I don't know how this happened, but it's nine o'clock already. And we are just cooking dinner. We're gonna have salad and fish. We're just gonna pan fry it. We've marinated it in soy sauce and some other ingredients. Uh, half a lime, half an orange. Totally digging this marinade lately. Um, some sesame seed oil. 
Um, we made a salad with a simple dressing with mustard, agave nectar and water. It's so good, really easy to make. And um, Riley's probably going to be at a calorie deficit after being chased by the sharks today, would you say so? Feel dizzy. Yeah, so we're going to... have been talking to the frogs outside. Yeah, there's frogs, them? they're so cute. So we're going to make some dessert. We've got bananas. I'm going to like put some peanut butter in there and my homemade chocolate is going to be insane. I wanted to be cool trying to use a wooden spoon, but I burnt my fingers trying to flip it with my fingers. Flip over. Ow! Oh, hot. <laughs> Just use tongs, Elena. <laughs> yeah, I kept the fi I caught the fish. I kept the fish. Are you telling sharks? No, they stories? didn't get the fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny's cactus. See me drop that everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done, Riley. <laughs> Grab that last bit here. You want that? No, oh, poops in the olive. Yeah, I should have told you. <laughs> How funny is that? You nearly break your teeth when that happens. Have you ever broken a tooth? Yeah, just playing footy. What one? Back here. Still oh. broken. Really? Yeah. Is it sharp? A little bit. I got absolutely KO'd. Really? I kept saying the same thing to the dude who was sitting next to me. I kept going, what, what cord is this? And he's like, shut up. Really? Yeah. Oh I my got, God. I got pole axed. Came on, came on, <laughs> and, kick, came on and kicked a goal in the last quarter. Pen. I swear football is like the worst sport. <laughs> it's no good for you. Mm. I didn't know Lenny's it was going to play footy. No, he's not. <laughs> He's gonna do yoga oh. and swim. He can play cricket. It's pretty boring. No one does a thing in cricket. <laughs> I don't know, in football you just hear people tearing their hamstrings and stuff all the time. Does that happen when you were playing When I was doing gymnastics? gymnastics? No. Exactly. Yes, it would have. It didn't to me. All right. Point, when he's playing football. Point, point proven. A bit defensive about footy, aren't I? You were really defensive. Well. My mates will be watching this. Was Riley good at football, as he claims to have been? I've never said that. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> I no, would never have said that. No, he denies it. Power's out. That's what happens on these small islands. We'll be back on again soon. There was the tiniest bit of a score, and then the power went out. <laughs> Elena goes. If it was just from that tiny little bit of wind, that's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when the power goes out sometimes. I agree. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. What about all that stuff? We'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't That's go, the best. Don't go nicking off with my chocolate. Because <laughs> you know where we are. <laughs> yeah. Right, divide them up equally into bowls. <laughs> Cannot be trusted. It solidifies when you put it in the freezer. So I mix coconut oil with cacao powder, peanut butter, honey, and that's it. And you stick it in the freezer. And it tastes like a Snickers bar, hey? <laughs> it's so good. We're gonna jump into bed. But thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new here and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>